Locked? Oh, come on now. Isn't it common sense the locked doors mean someone wants a bit of privacy? You didn't try and break the door down. Or did you just want to see me again that badly without the missus? I don't see why you would though, Mint. Nothing really happened between us. Well, I wasn't looking for whiskey. I was just going around to do my inspection. Thought it needed a push, just in case the door was stuck and actually needed repairs. So you really are some fancy interior designer, huh? Had you told me you were one, I would have called you a piss taker. I figured you'd be, I don't know, an assistant going for a drink after a week with a tosser of a boss. I'm just glad you thought me any sort of professional with how ossified I was. I must have not looked the part, so I understand your surprise. At first glance, Hana didn't look like some fancy finance manager when I first met her either. She was the pretty daughter of this rich, powerful man. When she was introduced, they told me that she was not there as the man's daughter, but as a part of management. <laughs> I thought it dubious. All the beautiful women I knew before her, they used their looks to get what they want. And there she was, with all that she could ever need in life, and yet she works hard to earn her keep. It sounds like you admire her. You enjoy your job, don't you, Mint? It helps me earn my keep, as you would put it. A bit strange to say out loud, but it gives me purpose as well. Do you think then that, maybe, Hana would want to go back to being a working person? Shouldn't you be asking her this? Isn't her opinion much more important than that of someone you just met in a pub a few nights ago? You're a woman and I figured you might know more. I mean, people are always saying that women are fulfilled by having husbands and having a good home. But then, I see ones like you who look happy having jobs. Maybe she's like you, and having a job would be better for her. Just because I'm a woman? You do know we don't all think the same way. But I don't know, I'm not married or anything, but this shouldn't be a complicated matter. She's your wife for how many years? Talk to her, ask her what she wants. Don't you guys talk during supper or something? Well, I should let you get back to work. Thanks for talking with me, I suppose. Right.
But anything goes awry, if you take my advice, just remember that I'm not some marriage counsellor. So take it with a grain of salt. My marriage goes down the shitter. I'll sue you. Noted. <laughs> Wait, that's not... guy. <laughs> Still needs a good arse kicking if you ask me. You can come in. Door's not locked. All right, all right. I'm coming. Just hold on. These stairs need work, that's for sure.
What a waste of wine. Why is it so sticky, though? Ugh. Maybe it's not wine. Go on, touch it. I dare ya. What am I, five years old? Oh, damn it, it's stuck under my shoe. I double dare you. Hell, I double dog dare you. Don't be such a scary cat. It's probably wine. What else could it be? Blood? Don't be ridiculous. Why would there be blood down here? What's this then? then a secret passage there must be a hidden switch somewhere go look this is the most interesting thing you've done by far You look surprised. What's wrong? You... That, that's not possible! You're... Aren't you happy to see a dear old friend, though? I'm hurt, I am. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? Oh, isn't it obvious? I've come back for you. So that we can be together again.
<laughs> no! Leave me alone! Leave you alone? But I just got here. <sighs> I, I... I wasn't talking to you, just thinking aloud is all. You should really avoid talking to yourself, Kint. Do more of that and others will think you're insane. Yes, thank you. Is that all you're here for, or has your master sent you running down here for something? Oh, no, I am just down here to admire the place. I've not been inside before. I thought I would look around before we return to the city. The car is already running, you see, and I suggest you go back to the foyer, unless you wish to be left behind. It seems you are in good company already, after all, with this house and your imaginary friend. Wait, we're leaving already? But I haven't finished inspecting the rest of the house. Be that as it may, there's a sulking man-child up there who wishes to go home. We are all subject to his whims, lest he throw a tantrum. And we wouldn't want any soiled knickers or spilled milk. Why don't you go head on and I'll be right there. Very well. Do be careful on your way back. I saw some broken glass on the way and it will not do to cut yourself on them. I will, yeah. Just tell Mr. Ride not to blow a gasket or anything. I'll be just a minute. About time, what took you so long? A minute longer and I'd think the house swallowed you all up. Oh, hush, dear. I'm sure she has her reasons. Marianne doesn't seem the sort to idle. Sorry, I was just checking on something important. See, business is business and they take time, love. You should know that better than anyone. So, Marianne, what do you think? Are you the woman for the job? I know we already signed papers hiring you, but I want to be 100% sure that you are committed.
It's certainly an interesting project. You can be sure I'm seeing it through the end. Such dedication! Oh, I do love the determination. You were always determined like that, weren't you? Marianne, work, work, work. She'll work herself to death. See, see, she doesn't listen. That's all she did. Look at what happened to me. on and goes out and she doesn't even see it. Do you think she'll even realize when she's kicked the bucket herself? Likely. Is that any way to live at all? She might as well be dead. Cruel fate that she's alive and I'm... well... that is. Have you been looking at us? Spying? How scandalous. Such a naughty girl. I'm sure you were just waiting for something rude to happen, weren't you? You know she will not admit it. She thinks it wrong. 
You've said it so yourself. Yes. She thought me wrong, impure, abnormal, because I loved her. Good morning, Barothio. Who's a good kitty? Are you hungry? Is that why you woke me up? I'll be leaving you again today, Beth. So you behave and make sure not to shred up my new covers, okay? And don't worry, I didn't forget tomorrow is Black Cat Day, so I'll throw you a party. But only if you behave like a proper lady. <laughs> <laughs> 